Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Stacey Elaine, and today we are giving a summer fashion rewind. I'm gonna show you the most worn items from summer in my clothing rack here. I've been keeping track of all the things that I just kept wearing over and over this summer. And I'll let you know if I think those items that I wore here while working from home all spring and summer will transition into the fall or if they were just spring, summer pieces only. If you're like me and you're just trying to live a life um, surrounded by things that you love that makes life easier, better, and your experience is sweeter, then I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel, Stacey Elaine Today. It is positive vibes only over here. It costs you nothing to subscribe, but it means the absolute world to me. And I'm always trying to get the most out of my wardrobe, which is what this video is about today. I'll show you what I'm wearing today. Actually, we had a little dinner date last night. <laughs> okay, so I had a little dinner date last night, and this is what I wore. I wore a Ralph Lauren polo button down. This is the slim fit. Don't worry about my bra because I'm wearing a sports bra because I'm in the house and I like to be comfortable, okay? And I wore my blank NYC shorts that I got from the Nordstrom haul. How cute is this whole outfit? I also wore some nude heels, which I'm not wearing right now because I hate wearing shoes in the house. So this is my look for this video because I thought it was so cute from last night and I did not want to waste a good look. Okay, let's start today's video. Now shall we? Alrighty, so while I was in the quarantine bubble of spring and summer, I wore a lot of dresses. I feel like if you are still working from home right now, and if you think your office is gonna transition you back into the mothership later, and you're looking for some new pieces, I highly recommend some very easy dresses. So this is a dress by Halogen. I picked this up in the Nordstrom anniversary sale year before last. It is still a very easy piece. I love the bold um, floral motif on here. I love the ruffle hem. It's very thin, so it works well for spring, summer, but it's thin enough to where you can put tights under it, wear it with some black combat boots, and put a nice chunky knit on top of it and wear it for fall. So I think a dress like this, if you're in the market for easy pieces that make you look great from home, as well as in the office, I recommend easy dresses like this. Not so much bright hues like this hot pink dress that I also got so much wear out of in the spring and summer. This is one that I typically only wear in spring and summer just because it is such a hot, bold piece. Um, so if you are trying to buy something more year round, this is still colorful, but the red and navy blue maybe anchors this a little more to make it year round. Whereas this one is just screaming spring, summer, Miami vibes. But be particular about the color if you wanna wear it year round. While we are talking pinks, this shade of pink is something that I would steer away from if you want to wear your items year round. But there are shades of pink that I wore so much in spring and summer that I actually think I will wear into the fall. One example are these joggers that I got from Target. This is their Wild Fable brand, and I picked these up back in March. They're cargo, and they have the elastic at the bottom. I wore this very commonly with this gray sweatshirt that is sheer in the back. This was perfect for working from home because it made me look so tailored and put together. And no one knew that it was completely sheer in the back and I was a whole thought at home. Okay, nobody knew. But I would not wear this into the office, no, no, no. But I would wear these joggers if you work in a casual office. 
which I think mm, most offices are going to be super casual, especially when we transition back because people are used to wearing pajamas and moo's and no underwear. Let's be honest. But I would pair this with like a button down like I'm wearing right now. And this is a very nice year round look. You can also pair it with a cream button down or a white one. And that actually gives this more year round vibes. I love the muted rose of this color. And I think if you're trying to pick a pink year round, this transitions better than this. Let's stay on the topic of pinks. You will notice from this rack that the colors I wore the most here at home are these pinks and baby blues. So I will show you this pink top by Stein Goya. It has the gold reflective stars on it. Oh my gosh, it's long sleeve. It has a very loose billowy sleeve. I love, love, love the back where it, it has a split open back. This is something that I actually would transition into the office, but I would wear a blazer over it. So a top like this, again, it's a little more muted than this hot, hot, hot pink, but I would put a navy blazer over this and wear this in the office. And then nobody knows that your back is out and you ready to thought, thought, thought after work. Nobody knows it, okay? But this is a top that I got so much wear out of that I wanted to wear it on a first date with someone. And I was so upset because it was in a dry cleaners. And that's how you know you're wearing something a lot. Because you want to wear it again and it's still getting cleaned. So this Stein Goya top served me well in spring and summer working from home. And I do think when I go back in the office, I'm going to throw on a blazer and wear it some more. Another item I knew I would wear year round were these faux leather shorts by Topshop. Again, it just came out of the dry cleaners because I wear them all the time and I will continue to wear them in fall and winter because these are faux leather and faux leather is so on trend right now, especially faux leather shorts. I was ahead of the trim and got them in this sweet baby pink because I'm trying to be more feminine. And I think they will carry over really well with combat boots. I picked up these beige ombre combat boots from Nordstrom. They're by Paige. And I got them sometime in the bubble. And this color will go well with this. And then if you wanna pair it with like a black floral motif top, it's a whole look. It's a whole look, you guys. So yes, I love wearing shorts in the winter with my combat boots, with my booties, with my thigh high boots, and faux leather shorts, even in this sweet baby pink, I think it's going to transition well. Not in the office, but for whatever else I wanna do. Another class of item or category that I wore the heck out of while home in the bubble were denim or denim chambre rompers. I wore a romper to death. Let me show you. These four were the rompers that got the most wear. This one is by BCBG Max Azria. I will definitely be wearing this. It is a heavier weight. It has this nice balloon sleeve. It is perfection. It has pockets. I love BCBG rompers or onesies like I always call them. And this one I feel was made for a summer fall transition. I will continue to have this on the rack because I'm gonna keep wearing it. And if you put that on with thigh high boots, especially like nude ones, beware to be chosen. I'm just telling you, okay? Now this one is more floral. So this screams spring and summer. This one I am going to be retiring. So it will not make the list. This denim one here is very thin and it screams summer. And this one is just blue and white with this nice, 
um, lace here. And I feel like I can transition this one more from spring and summer into the fall with just a very nice chunky knit and some very nice booties. So I will transition that one. But this one that just screams lazy days of summer will be retired. And we have the white shirt dress. I love a great crisp white shirt dress and I will be wearing this one by Club Monaco in the fall and winter. This is year round for me. It is a basic. Everyone needs a white shirt dress in their collection ladies and I love this one. It is so classic. I will layer many chunky knits on top of it just wait and see. But also for the fall, I got another shirt dress. And this one is by BCBG Max Azria. This one I got from Lord and Taylor while they were shutting down operations. And I think I got it for about $19. I think it is so, so dope. This is a white shirt dress with black stripes on top. If you don't want to do an all white shirt dress for the fall and winter, try one with stripes that will anchor it more so than an all white dress. If you're like, no, I can't do all white in the fall and winter. But this one is going to look so great. Once I get my black combat boots that I'm telling you these black combat boots that I have in my head, they're going to be so, so good and so yummy. So yes, can't wait for that. Two other pieces that one will and will one will not transition that I've just worn so much. This maxi dress. This maxi dress is not going to transition to fall very well. Just even though it's a muted color with the navy, I am not going to transition this into fall. I'm gonna keep it into my summer wardrobe because I have other maxi dresses that I just got. You'll have to wait and watch in another video that will replace this maxi dress. But these shorts by BCBG Max Azria, I'm going to transition these to fall and winter. I'm gonna wear big, chunky, graphic Kenzo sweaters with this. And also, I wanna say rest in peace to the founder of Kenzo who passed away today. The founder, Mr. Kenzo, passed away today from complications from COVID. And I offer my condolences to him, his family, and the entire Kenzo team. I absolutely love the brand Kenzo. It's always so fresh and so forward looking, and which I think fashion is forward looking and the most hopeful of all the things that we commit to is our fashion and I just want to offer my condolences to him and his family and I have Kenzo sweaters and I want another Kenzo sweater that will go with this one and I love wearing these shorts oh with thigh high boots this blue and white stripe you might think this is just so summer but if you put tights underneath if you live in a very cold weather climate especially sweater tights in Houston I don't really need any tights most of the time I just need some socks and my boots and I'm fine this is how I transition shorts into the fall and winter and of course you know just like these that's why I got these shorts that I got on because I think they transition well with me so these are some of the most worn items in my closet that I just kept wearing over and over in the spring and summer. Even though I have a lot of clothes, everyone has their favorites, right? And these are some of my favorites. And I'm just letting you know, when you go shopping, what will transition to another season and what mm, things and tips to look for if you wanna get the most out of your wardrobe and not have to sit some babies out for a season. So let me know your thoughts on this video and the vibe that I have right here on the outfit, on the pieces. I can't wait to see you in the next video. It will all be over. Things that you, you watching this, you influenced me to buy this stuff. You won't wanna miss it because you might see some things you might see some things that surprise you. All right, bye guys. As I say in every video, be blessed to be a blessing. May God be with you. Bye.